Last week, the Norwegian royal household celebrated as King Harold and Queen Sonia's daughter, Princess Marta Louise, announced her engagement to her boyfriend of several years, Shaman Durek. Yet the fourth in line to the throne has revealed that reactions to the couple's relationship have not entirely been positive, admitting that racism has often played a part. Today, let's take a look at what the royal couple had to say about the backlash. First up, the royal couple discuss backlash they've received. Princess of Norway, Marta Louise, and fiancé Shaman Durek Ver have spoken out about hurtful reactions to their recent engagement news, which they believe are racially biased. 47-year-old Durek is of mixed Haitian, Norwegian, and Indian origin and works as a spiritual healer in Los Angeles, having been born in the nearby Californian city of Sacramento. Speaking in an Instagram Live this week, Durek Verrett, an LA-based spiritual guide and gifted healer whose celebrity following includes Nina Dobrev, Gwyneth Paltrow, and James Vanderbeek, said that people don't want to see a black man in the royal family because because it's never been done before. The couple discussed the situation in the live, saying they've received tons of hate and multiple death threats since sharing the news about the engagement and throughout their relationship. Verrett also added that the public didn't want to see the real Bridgerton, a nod to the popular Netflix series. Derek said he believes there are two reasons behind the death threats the couple claims to have received. Firstly, because they don't want to see a black man in the family since there's never been one in the history of the European royal family. He went on to say that while a prince would have been able able to marry a woman of color, the fact that Marta Louise was a woman meant that there was more scrutiny and judgment going around about her choice of partner. Second, sexism definitely came into play, according to Verrett. He noted that it's different when a man chooses a woman of color because he's a man, but for a princess to choose a man of color, it's tough for people to handle that, since it's never been done before. Now, comparison to Bridgerton. Shaman Durek added that the public don't want the Bridgertons. They want to watch it on TV, but they don't want the real-life Bridgertons, which was them. Their critics get angry and say really hurtful, mean, and racially motivated comments, but as he added that those people don't understand that our world can't stay the same, we need to evolve. Durek's comment was in reference to the mega-hit Netflix series Bridgerton, which features interracial royal couple Simon Bassett, the Duke of Hastings, and Daphne, the fourth child and first daughter of Viscount Edmund Bridgerton, and his wife Violet. The on-screen couple is played by Regé Jean Page and Phoebe Dynever, and fans of the series seem to love their pairings and chemistry. While most people have been fans of the interracial pairings in the series, some noted that they weren't entirely historically accurate. After all, fans argue, which white European royal family would accept a dark-skinned person in their bloodline in the 20th century, given that we aren't having much luck in the 21st century with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry? Princess Marta Louise also spoke of the criticism they have received throughout their relationship, saying it's been a huge learning curve for her. She told viewers, even though some people think there's no racism in their lives because they're white, they need to understand that even if they don't see it, it's very real, and it does exist. Next, the engagement. The couple discussed their relationship at length in their Instagram Live, as well as in the interview with People magazine. Marta Louise admitted she was pretty shocked by the proposal, which happened in California, and they were both in floods of tears during the precious moment. They shared their engagement news on social media on June 7th in dual Instagram posts. Writing on Instagram to reveal her engagement, Martha Louise revealed that she was over the moon to announce her not to Shaman Durek. In her caption, she wrote how he's the one who makes her heart skip, who sees and acknowledges her from the highest potential, the one who makes her laugh, and who she can be vulnerable with. She wrote, Love transcends and makes us grow. I'm so happy to continue to grow with this beautiful man. In March, the princess shared the first photo of her three girls alongside her partner. In the photograph, which the woman of three shared to her Instagram page to mark International Women's Day, Durek can be seen posing with the royal and her kids. The group appear to be visiting Durek's home in LA, where Marta Louise has spoken of moving. According to Norwegian media, the princess plans to relocate to California with her girls. Her older brother, Crown Prince Hakan, is the heir to the throne. The shaman was quick to respond, sharing a gushing comment on the post, writing how much he loves their family. He said, You, my dear, are a force in life, the way you love your children and how you nurture their minds and heart to grow. Princess Marta, who's the only daughter of Norway's King Harald V and Queen Sonia, bills herself as clairvoyant. Meanwhile, her parents have released a statement sending their most heartfelt congratulations on behalf of His Majesty the King and Her Majesty the Queen, wishing them all the best in the future. Now, in other related news, meaning behind their engagement ring. During the interview with People magazine, the princess revealed the meaning behind her engagement ring. While the emerald is a nod to her mother, as it's her favorite stone, the three diamonds on either side of the ring represent her three daughters with her late first husband. Derek explained how he did historical research on all the royal engagement rings. He even went and observed other rings at stores to give him ideas for the cut and design. The 50-year-old 
year-old princess is mother to three daughters, Maud Angelica, 18, Leah Isadora, 16, and Emma Tallulah, 13, from her previous marriage to the late writer Ari Ben, who tragically took his own life back in 2019. The family are known to be very tight-knit, with the royal regularly making cameos on the TikTok account of her beautiful influencer daughter, Leah. The princess previously relinquished her right to the throne and doesn't carry out any official royal duties. Princess Martha revealed how having her three daughters represented in her engagement ring meant the world to her. To her, it showed that she'd chosen the right man, someone who understands how much her kids mean to her and how her children would always be included in the relationship. How sweet. Next, Gwyneth Paltrow approves. After working on the jewel for a half a year, Dirk explained how he showed the ring to his friend and client, none other than Gwyneth Paltrow herself, since she's very particular about these things. And Paltrow gave it her seal of approval. Dirk added that Gwyneth loved how much thought and care he'd put into the ring and thought it was the most fantastic gift she'd ever seen. It seems like Paltrow knew that Princess Martha would love and cherish it. Even having a stamp of approval from Hollywood royalty, such as her, would have made her happy. The ring also features a 3.5 carat ethically sourced Brazilian emerald, which is surrounded by diamonds, including four trillion cut stones to represent earth, air, fire, and water. Meanwhile, the shape represents a protective emblem, while the couple's union is represented in the infinity detailing and an engraved love knot on the side. Dirk went on to share several images of the ring on his Instagram page, thanking the jeweler for helping him craft the magnificent piece. Lastly, Prince Charles set on replacing Harry and Meghan. Back in England, things aren't looking too good for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, as they are reportedly unhappy with their future with the royal family. Reports have revealed that the Sussexes thought that they would be invited back to the UK to reinvent monarchy. However, under the new strategy devised by Prince Charles and William, the Duke and Duchess will be replaced by other royal family members, including Princess Anne's husband, Tim Lawrence. The last 18 months have proven a very difficult period for Harry and Meghan. They really felt they would have to return to the UK because of the slimmed-down monarchy, in the absence of Her Majesty the Queen, who's taken a step back recently. On the instruction of both Prince Charles and William, they are now going to include Tim Lawrence on their rotation and see if he can take on more royal events representing the monarchy. This has not gone down well with the former royals in California because they felt that, at some point, Charles would have to call them back. But there are other members of the royals who are more than willing to step forward, as we have seen with Prince Edward and Sophie Wessex. So, it's difficult to see how Meghan and Harry could ever make their transition back into royal life. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on the Bridgerton comparison of the Norwegian royal couple? Do you agree with what Shaman Durek had to say? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.